Hi, this is Michael Uslan. You're listening to Batman on Film. I'm vengeance. I have given a name to my pain. Hey now, welcome to episode 25, which is kind of, this is kind of episode 24, part two, because it's essentially the same topic. I am the founder of Batman on Film, Bill Jett Ramey, and this is the Batman on Film Social Hour. I think I've already said that, so we'll just go with 25, just to make it simple. We don't have to do any 24 and a half, so any of that stuff, or 24 point, part two. Um Losing my train of thought. Oh, but with me is senior BF contributor Peter Vera. Hey, Peter, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? This is, uh, I don't even remember what we talked about last time. So, was I even on the show or did you do that with Lauer? Lauer was on 24. We talked okay. about, and that's what we're going to talk We're going to talk about the, the casting of Batgirl. We, on the previous episode, uh, Ryan Lauer and I talked about the candidates who were up and screen testing for Batgirl, Barbara Garden Batgirl. And then I like the same day after we had, I had posted, or maybe the next day, I can't remember, uh, I had posted the, the show, uh, the casting went down. So um, let's just get right to it. Leslie Grace has been cast as Barbara Gordon slash Batgirl in this HBO Max uh, Warner Brothers DC movie. So it's going to be a, it will not be in the cinema. I suppose it is going to be an HBO Max deal. So is this the first DC? Is this is this the first movie that Warner Brothers has done exclusively for HBO Max? I'm not sure. You're probably more aware of that. Than uh, the first DC one, right? Well, there's there's a, there's the big event film in March, so that that, that might oh. count for some people. Um, oh. But this might be the first like. I uh, get that. Anyway. <laughs> This, uh, it's, uh, it could be, I guess, technically how you're speaking about it. Uh, maybe I, I'm not really sure, but I haven't seen this girl in anything. I have not seen her in the Heights. Um, everyone loves that movie. Eric loves it. Uh, Nico Caruso, who I, uh, co-host my Spider-Man podcast with, he really enjoys it. He's really excited about this casting. He thinks she's phenomenal. Um, I can't wait to see what the... What she has in store for us, her and those two directors who directed uh, the Bad Boys uh, movie, um, that was that was crazy, and uh, I can't wait to see what these guys just come up with. Like, all right, so far they're like you know one for one, and you know uh, mm -hmm. our new Batgirl apparently is a, is, a, is a rising star. Um, you know, like, have any of these DC movies ever been casted poorly? Like, let's be really honest. Like, I know people have problems with Eisenberg, but for the most part, I feel like these movies are casted very, very I well. I think they've cast overall very well. Especially in the unknown department. Like I'd say, you know, yeah. she's kind of unknown, right? I have yeah. I have no idea who she is. Uh, I had I had to I had to go do I had to go do research. Oh. I mean and the heights is not um something that's up my alley. You're not a musical um, guy. Not, no, I'm not. So, yeah, so. I, I'm, I'm familiar with the movie. I am familiar with the Would you check it director. out now, though? Because she's Probably. In show. Yeah. yeah. That's what I did with Eckhart. You know, he was in this rom-com thing with, uh, I think it was Catherine Zeta-Jones. They were in like, and all my buddies made fun of me. I was like, this guy was just cast as Two-Face. Like, I don't have a reference yeah. for this guy. Uh, yeah. I can't remember what the name of the movie is, but uh, he was like, it was they were like cooks or something. So I saw that movie because Eckhart was cast in Dark Knight. So yeah. I do that. So. I, 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 it's it's on HBO Max, right? In the Heights. Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, it, I would it, imagine. Or is, yeah. it, is it done? No, I think it's. I think it still might be. Okay. It definitely was because I know Dune was just their trailer just said HBO Max in theaters. So I think they're, I okay. think they're still doing it. I may look a little bit of it out. just to see. Um, 
like I said, I had to do some research on on this young lady. I was not familiar with her. I just I knew she was in that movie. I'm familiar with the director because of of uh, Hamilton, mm -hmm. and um, so um, and I and I like I said I've said um, I think I said it in in the one of the the the, the Batman on film story about her casting, and I know I've said it in the Facebook group that this is you know I'm really not very interested in this personally because it's and on the other hand i'm not the demographic they're going for clearly i mean it looks like they're going to be going for uh you know this is something and i and i and i do like this if this is the case it, i mean it's going for a a younger female type audience i um i i don't know if this would i can't see this being r rated or anything that's really like you know, down um, and gritty. I I, I don't know. I, I kind of do expect some sort of a grittiness to it. Do I expect it to be rated R? No, I do expect it to get like a PG thirteen rating, just because I don't think Batgirl and and because I'm older, so this is probably why I think this way. But you know, Batgirl used to be like the number two heroine behind Wonder Woman. Right now, it's sure. kind of Harley Quinn. So yeah. I think Batgirl is a big name. Yvonne Craig, there was a reason why Batgirl made it to the TV yeah. show. She's a big part of the mythology. Um, mm -hmm. She's a big part of the anime. She, there, she's pretty much always appeared. She, I mean, she only got one Schumacher movie, but she did eventually make an appearance in the fourth film. So she, that's a pretty big name character. I think this is going to be taken really seriously. And I, I do see some grit and I see some, I see it mature enough, but then yet, like kind of like I, I teetering like an 89 type vibe you know what i'm saying like it's serious yeah but i mean i would expect a pg there I, I would expect pg-13 i'm not thinking they're gonna make it pg and, and catering to like girls because if who these guys just came off bad 10. boys like they yeah. know how to do like cool action stuff that involve you know large cities mm -hmm. and you just that kind of like that grit and grime of like street crime, which fits Batgirl perfectly. Yeah. You know, as coming off of guys who just did, you know, the, this cool detective movie, right? Like it's, yeah. it's a great buddy cop series. So, and you know, they, they pulled that off effortlessly. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, like I think everything I just see kind of makes sense to me. I, don't, I, I, don't really, I know the, you know. Except for I, the HBO thing, cause I, I would love to see it in a theater. Yeah, I, right? I, I'm not sure. Well, I guess they want content for HBO Max. Um, oh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think the reasons why it's a HBO Max deal. I'm not trying to. I mean, there's still something. I think it's it, maybe it's a, won't get a little, that a little bit, money. a little bit more. Spe it's a little bit more special on the big screen. So yeah, are they think? The budget, I'm sure the budget will be different. Yeah. So are they thinking this is like a tier below that, and uh, plus, you know, warning stuff for HBO Max, and it's a DC property, it and it's kind of cool. Batman that, and the way Warner Brothers HBO goes about things is like, well, like Disney Plus, we get these cool six episode series. Yeah. That are still attached. But what if like HBO Max just makes cool, I don't know, two and a half hour movies? Yeah. Right. That could be something. Like, and I know yeah. they're doing like the whole Gotham Police Department, but what if that's part of like what the deal is with this whole like quote unquote multiverse is that, you know, we can have a series that is a prequel to our you know standalone batman movie but we also have this batgirl movie that we you know we don't really know where in the multiverse it mm -hmm. essentially fits but it's there kind of joker yeah. style just it's just there yeah and so that's, that's better than nothing like think about it last time we saw batgirl live action was 97 yeah right like yeah I, well, I guess, I guess that Birds of Prey, TV Birds of show. Prey, what Dina she was Meyer, there for a hot yeah. Second, you know, yeah. but I mean that's Alicia Silverstone suit, so it's yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. the same continuity. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't necessarily. Well, I guess I have to count. Well, it's like that, a Burton continuity. But whatever. You no, know what um, I'm saying, but like that's it. Like that. That's the last. Like if if we can get something with like some staying power, you know, Barbara Wilson as opposed to like that, and then you know, like and then you mentioned Birds of Prey. Like something that's memorable, really, you know, and not just for mm -hmm. just because it was a part of one of the worst movies in Batman history. Yeah, it could well, just mean something. I, I'm just saying, I, I I will cover it on Batman on film. We'll talk about it. We'll review it. We will. Um, I'll watch it. Obviously, it's just something that I'm not like. I gotta have me a Batgirl movie, but 
you know that that that's fine. That's you know. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see how they pull it off. Batgirl without Batman. Is there no Batman? Is there Batman? Is he just in the shadows? Do we not see Batman? It's that stuff's kind of interesting to me. Like, how does this version of Gotham City work? How is she inspired? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's why. I mean, do you? Do you, is it a take where there is no Batman and there became a Batgirl instead? You know, mm -hmm. but uh, they they did. It is confirmed. She's Barbara Gordon. She. They're going to cast another actor uh, for Commissioner Gordon or wherever. I hope he's she has at. a motorcycle. I hope she's got a little yeah. bit of purple in her suit. You know, like there's yeah, there's those Batgirl things. Like I'm a, I read Batgirl. I haven't not read Batgirl in my, okay. my you know, I, I do. Like it's part. Like I hang out in Gotham City. Like I just I read all these books. I it's have like, probably I dropped Batman Scooby Doo. It's not for me. It's a kid. Haven't <laughs> haven't read anything Batgirl in comics since probably the seventies. Check out the Gail Simone stuff from New Fifty Two. Yeah. You'll, That's just, you'll enjoy. It. I'll, I'll get, I may give it a try. It's just not. not if you had the DC face. Universe, you could yeah. have read it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, as far so, let's get into some of the, the just some of the outlying mm -hmm. topics from this a little, just a little bit. Um, so immediately, the first thing that a lot of fans went to is that is it connected to the Batman? because well that's always question number one yeah but, and it's sense. and it's because uh she looks african-american to a little bit she's got she is uh i believe she identifies as afro uh latino mm -hmm. and her name is actually leslie grace martinez her parents are dominican okay. um she was born in new york city and but she grew up in florida uh in the miami area so um yeah i mean you could go she's she's not white which seemed to bother uh some well, people well, there's always those people out there that and issues, so. she did not have red hair which bothered mm -hmm. some people um that's kind of a, a different topic to get into but clearly it's not part of the batman and just because jeffrey wright is gordon Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, that connection, it was just a, yeah. I mean, you want to go into this, and so I guess my question is, I mean, it's it like every time we get a project or casting uh, with this, it's immediately, well, where does it fit? Where does it connect? What does it connect to? Is it part of the Batman? Is it part of the films that mm -hmm. you know? I hate using the terms. I never liked it, but the DCEU, the whatever they're, you know, <laughs> that's the greatest term of all. Oh. Um, but that's just fans being fans. They just want to speculate. They want to know, you know, who could this Batgirl possibly have interacted with? Who could she possibly uh, interact with in the future? So I, that's just fans being fans. But I think the problem is when they don't get what they want and they start to act a little obnoxious. I think that's the issue really as much as much trying to figure it out. Cause I myself tried to figure out like, okay, does this fit within the world of the Batman? It does not. Does it fit within the Affleck world of Batman? No, it, apparently it does not. So it seems to be kind of like its own thing somewhere where there might be I mean, other things that spawn out of it. There might not be, but again, yeah, I'd rather have it. Well, we that. keep hearing, I've, I've wrote this several times and I've gotten into discussions about it on our Facebook fan page, but it's like, what is Warner Brothers doing? Why are they doing? They're just they're casting. They're, they're just casting out out their rear end, and it's you know, and just making project. They, there's no plan. And I'm like, they have told you for basically what two years now, what the plan is. Their plan is they're going to make movies. If they connect, they connect. If they That's don't, it. They don't. That's the bottom line. That's there's the no bottom problems. line. They're not going to beat beat the audience over the head with connect uh, connectivity and and doing th they're not doing things like and it, i'm not going to say i blame marvel or blame the mcu disney but there's this you know where does it connect what where does it fit i thought that the fans and, didn't want them to copy the marvel method well I, <laughs> okay explain that i i'm with you you know so, i'm with you i mean they're just making films so everyone you're just so this may be, I don't know. I know it's not connected to the Batman. And I mean, quite frankly, just look yeah. at the Batman. It's not connected what to the Titans. What, we don't know where it's. Yeah. And what they're going for with the Batman, which is, believe it or not, it looks going to be even more grounded than the Dark Knight trilogy. 
I don't know if a bat girl fits, and especially not now. When what if Batman, it's connected to Bat Woman? Bat. Uh, <laughs> what if it's connected to Gotham? What if this is the Bat Girl uh, of the uh, Gotham universe? You, you're get, trying to get me wound up. I know. You're very you're yeah, it's, playing it's me. Not very hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, all I got is like Batman Returns, and then you just start getting. Hey, ready. it may, <laughs> it, it it may, it may fit in with the quote unquote DCEU post the flash it, it it may well you know maybe that gordon is and now the commissioner kind of the, gordon those, those are kind of the rumblings you keep hearing online is that the flash is the movie that you kind of got to pay attention to because that's where things are it seems really going to change oh absolutely right absolutely you know? it's going to change it's like and suicide squad is going to happen and like the glory of that movie is it just fits like wherever you want that movie to and go, they, yes. it goes and that's kind of like the beauty of that film but uh, apparently, the you know the Flash is what's really gonna kind of you know set the I guess set the pace, set the course, just put us on the right. Like, that's the path we're gonna go we're for gonna for for the for the things that are connected in quotation marks. Because again, you're in not general, do- though, like it all makes sense yeah. post Flash. Yeah. Every you, you'll be like okay, like if you don't get it after Flash, you're not trying to understand. Yeah, it's not and. It, they won't be, you know, cross pollinating like the MCU. They're not going to be trying to set up some big ass team up film. They're just making the movies, and some of them are connect, and some of them won't. We've said that. I don't know ad nauseum around here. Warner Brothers said it. James Gunn has said it. Uh, Margot Robbie has said it. For Pete's sake, no pun intended. You know, uh, okay. over and over again. So uh, it, it may just be its own damn thing. Yep. It's own Batgirl universe. That's not, you know, it is it, but it will be interesting. I'm, I'm with you. Okay. Is Batman in this? Uh, is he mentioned? You know? Uh, it's just, it's, so we cool, just went through know? this with the Batman. Like, this is the fun part. The yeah. speculation, the hype. You get fan art, stuff like that. What could Because now you have an actress. You you can put her in, like, your own Bat. I'm sure people are doing it. Put her in a Silverstone suit. Put her in a suit for Birds of Prey. Put her in the Batwoman suit and change, you know, just change the color of the logo and stuff like that. You know, you, you're you going to get people doing creative things. They're going to make fan play. And that's, that. this is, like, the hype part where we get really excited for it. And uh, it'll happen when we get Gordon. You know, people put a, a mustache on that guy and give him a a, a yeah, cigar <laughs> and a fedora, and we'll have some fun. That, this that, is like, that will this be, is cool. be interesting to see wh- wh- where they go with um, the casting of, of mm-hmm. him. And they're and then they've mentioned, I mean, I think there's some, some uh, it'd know, be great if this was another like police type show, but she is like spying on the cops, getting information to kind of yeah. figure out where Batgirls kind of have to operate. Like, it'd be, I, there are a lot of really cool possibilities they could do with this. Well, we'll see. Um, I'm excited. I think it's believe it's supposed to start filming later this year, and I'm assuming then then it would it's going to be a 2020 release, maybe 2023. What would you what sure. would you what would you guess? Uh, I don't know. I I don't know how to judge it because it's like, is it going to be treated the same as a as a as a big tentpole DC film, or is this yeah. treated differently because it's in HBO Max DC event like I don't I don't know like I, I I'm interested to see just uh you know I guess with more casting and maybe some you know photos or something like that you get an idea of how grand and how epic this possibly could be okay so I'll ask you since you are a Batgirl um expert, <laughs> no, I uh, an expert there's first. been rumblings and rumors that Firefly is going to be the villain in this mm-hmm. that, and that and that apparently makes sense to the world of Batgirl, is 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 Firefly been a Batgirl nemesis? Jeez, uh, more than some of the other, I guess, rogues, I, I Batman, Bat rogues. Part of the Batman, so and I know they don't like to like just throw away characters like that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm I, I don't know. Back let's see, it's maybe worth a Google. Batgirl Firefly. I don't know, I, but I love Firefly, so I've been dying when he, when I heard he was possibly in batman i think I lauer was, was the one telling okay i'm really excited there was a batgirl year one right mm-hmm. did you read that i do i did i read it maybe like two years ago on a plane and firefly to- is the- i think i read it to go see you actually okay yeah so but firefly is uh the main villain uh batgirl year one so okay that's cool i, I kind of like that i dig that yeah i may have to pick that's up awesome. that i may you know what i may pick up that batgirl year one 
Is it in print though? That's the question. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. But if you're going to read Batgirl, I say start with Simone's run in New 52. That's good. May do that as well. Well, that's, I know that's still yeah. in print. That'll, that'll still be in print. So there you have it. Leslie Grace is Barbara Garden Batgirl. And I love the history of the character because there have been several Batgirls, you know, mm -hmm. going back going back to the 50s. Uh, Barbara Garden was not the first Batgirl. Wasn't uh, it like, didn't Batman marry like Betty Kane and they had a daughter and she was in the original Batgirl? Oh, there was oh. the, you know, Kathy Kane was Batwoman in the 50s. That's and, interesting, Kathy Kane. And her niece was the first Batgirl. And then and they wore the skirts with the black masks and the red. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's in the 50s. And then, of course, she got um, the Barbara Gordon version. And I'm not, I'm going to say this. And if I'm wrong, someone will call me out. First, like the billion dollar appearance of Batgirl. Yeah. I, I think, I'm not sure, but Pete, you can Google that the bar was the Barbara Gordon version, the first on the 60s TV series. And then the comic book Barbara Gordon mm -hmm. spun out of that. I want to say Detective so. Detective 359. Let's see here. Sorry for this dead air, folks. We're This is all. Let's see here. So 359 was published in January of 1967. So I would say I would say she came first in the book. I think they could, I, I want to say they coincided. But it's close. Like I well, think there was it's some... close because it says here like the billion dollar uh the million dollar debut of Batgirl. So I imagine she was a hot ticket item and uh she was pretty much you know I, rushed. I, okay, much. I want to say I'll say that if my memory recalls if because I want to there's some there was some synergistics in between behind this where it was planned together to de to debut it comic book and on the TV show around the same time. I don't think it was one at necessarily jump uh, piggybacking off the other. It was done mm -hmm. as on purpose together. Pretty sure at that. I knew there was something I, I, I didn't remember. I didn't know if it was the 60s show spawn that version, but I, I'm I now I, I think they, they kind of, they did this together and it came out basically so the same the first time. appearance of Yvonne Craig as Commissioner Gordon's daughter, Barbara Gordon, was uh, Enter Batgirl, Exit Penguin. First episode of season three, which aired uh, September 14th, 1967. So they're close. Yeah, I want to say they, they, they were, were they did this. To, it was done together. And uh, I wouldn't these, be surprised. That's yeah, how I'm they pretty I'm it. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure someone will will confirm. cross promotion. Yes, exactly. Exactly what it was. And then you I mean, you will know more about this. I mean, there's been who who else in the comics Batgirl more recently? They've had some other versions of because Barbara well, became as, as of right Oracle. now. Yeah, Sandra Kane and Stephanie Brown are known as the Batgirls. Okay, uh, they uh, both wear uh, Cassandra wears her No Man's Land suit. Uh, she says speak more now, uh, and Stephanie now wears a bat on her chest, kind of like Jason Todd. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. we're still going by spoiler, but together they are the Batgirls. And uh, Barbara's kind of taking a back seat and she's doing more Oracle stuff, but she still appears. In, uh, I think she just, oh, I think she had like one of her, one of her recent appearances back home. It was, kind of, I think that's kind of them segueing her out for a little bit and letting the back girls take over, which is cool. I, I love Stephanie Brown. Everyone knows I'm a sucker for 90s Robin and Spoiler. So they, so. so they worked like a team. The bad girls. Correct. And Barbara hates calling them the bad girls, but okay. the girls love it. So they tease them. It's, it's, it's cute. That's it's a cute. Okay. Thing. Okay. And why is Barbara resorted back to being just Oracle? Uh, post Joker war post. Uh, what the hell did they just come out yeah. of? Just out of recent events. She thinks she can do a better job. Just keeping eyes. On okay. I remember. Okay. Cause I did, you know, I, she's I still walking. That. They haven't get, taken away her ability to walk. She yeah. just she can do more. You know, with two Batgirls and one Oracle, as opposed to one. Got gotcha. you. <clears throat> no Oracle. Got gotcha. you. You know, I'm a big fan of the Batman family and sidekicks and stuff. 
I mean, I, what do you think? I just spent all this time trying not to convince you to read something. More, more, <laughs> more bat sidekicks, the better, I say. And if they're like 11, 12, 13, it's awesome. Look, put, I about, put them out. I will die on the Dick Grayson Robin Hill, sir. So, I mean, put, I, put them out on the street. I th- I th- <laughs> put that kid <laughs> out in the street in a He'll tunic. He'll be picked up in a Batmobile. And He'll try to boots. tires. Every, <laughs> look, Robin is a necessity to Batman. Robin keeps Batman from going over the edge. I would say that Robin is. That's why he wears red. So essential to the Batman and mythos. You. And even yes. Christopher Nolan knew that and included the character in the Dark Knight trilogy. And a nice little nod to the character. <laughs> that's a that's as much of a Robin as any of the other Robins, sir. He he does he does he does a lot of Robin like activity. His name is Robin. Yes. I mean, His birth name is Robin. That's the Nolan version of Robin and that, that is I'll give you that that is yeah. Nolan's and it's it's as valid as any of the other Robins. It's interesting. If I, I can just, I, if I can say uh, that Batman Returns is a valid interpretation I'm, of I'm Batman. I'm not really arguing with you. I just then you come on. I just I wish and it was like there's parts of me and that would I wish we never heard his name throughout like the whole movie and at the end it was just like Dick Grayson or something. You know, that that's, just, that's like the Uber yeah, that's like the Uber fanboy in me complaining because like the name John Blake just doesn't sit well with that me. That is a big that is a very that's good me. example of of, of of fanboyish type but of stuff. I, that, I mean I'm like, glad you admit that's it. My yes. fanboy. Yeah, but that's yeah. the inner fanboy in me. Yeah. I, I, I'll own up to it, but you know I'm not gonna try to, you know, come to your house and throw tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like, and we all, everyone knows Rises is my favorite of the trilogy. So I, you know, I can be, I, I am critical of it. So I'm just being fair. Yeah. That was a good moment because I didn't know that was coming. I did not. And then, you know, didn't know it was coming. You know, you should go by that name, Robin. And then, you know, like, holy shit, he did put Robin in the, in the damn thing, you know, and, you, and then, and then you look back you, and then it's, you know, a lot, it's very Nolanish because you go back and it clicks then. And then everything you just kind of replay it in your head, all the things like, oh yes, yes. I'm, he very, was. I'm very curious to see how uh, Mr. Blake fared his first night out in the city. Oh, he, uh, who, who knows? You can write that in your head. That's what Chris would say. Yeah, I did. He, he fell right off the building. <laughs> He fell off the building. <laughs> His grapnel did not work. <laughs> poor, so, poor John. And he he would say, "That's if that's what if that's the story you wrote in your head. It's perfectly. <laughs> it's, fine. it's as quick as Bambi meets Godzilla." Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't see him, but he's so disappointed right now. <laughs> oh, I. Yeah. You know what? I and I'm being honest. I don't I have. have I don't have the. I, uh, when rises ended and it, you know, he's on that thing and that's it. That's kind of it for me. I've never, I've never wrote a story in my head of or have have an idea of how, what I think how it would continue. But I mean, I do that with all of them. You know, I I, I know. I guess I would say he maybe not the Batman. He would be someone else, but that that goes against the whole. Thing. I always but, thought he was going to be Batman. You know, I, uh, I, I like I was going to say, it's always that was the whole point is Batman could be any anybody, anybody, and and it's, I got the message. You know, it's not. It was a symbol. It was not the man specifically who was Batman. It was the Batman that is a symbol. You know, you know, and a lot of people twist it to like you're just saying anybody can be Batman. Batman's got to be this. You got to train and blah blah blah. And, but that's not what. You're gonna get me on a duck. Yeah, you gotta train. Go, go, go! Start training. You're you gonna, have to, you're gonna have to get. I mean, I'm get me off on a Dark Knight trilogy. It's uh, not hard to do. Stuff. No, don't. I'm not. I'm not. You know, you directed to, me uh, here. I could, I could, I could, I could go off on it. I'm all focused. You? Oh, you. I focused on this. You see my he's new like, one back he's here? Like, Do you see check it? Check out my letter. I got a letter here. Oh, that's over there. Okay. <laughs> I, this one, the Batman. I am. That's what I'm fired up for the most. So anyway. Okay. So I'm excited uh, for the Batman. I can't wait. I I, I get. Ex- I'm excited for Bat. Hey, I got excited for Batwoman every Sunday. Is that season over? It it, it is over. Okay. It, 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 you know, it got better. Okay. One day you're gonna watch it. 
I think it's better than Gotham. Well, okay. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I can't. I don't have. I don't have much to say. Oh, Trying to be how nice. Gotham, how much of Gotham did you watch? I watched. Um, honestly, I watched the first most of the first season, mm-hmm. and maybe I started season two and just couldn't go anymore. Yeah, that was me the first time. And, and then, then I, I watched. Sure. I wa- I did watch the finale because you had to see Batman it. was in see it. it. Yeah. What do you What are you doing with Titans? You watching Titans or I've not like watched it? Titans. I've at watched all. A, I've watched a little bit of it. Not it's not my thing. So, not, but what about this whole Jason Todd Red Hood stuff? Does this interest you at all? You're not I, gonna pe- now. You get I, I I am one of those. I I wish that Jason Todd had stayed dead. I'm with you. I'm with you, but I'm interested to see what they how they uh. Yeah, they I'm not I'm not a Jason Todd. I'm not a Jason Todd Red Hood fan. I didn't yeah. mind. I didn't mind him being Robin in the comics. I mean, I get it. Dick but Grayson, that Red Hood book is so good, though. It's yeah. so. I mean, it's it's way out there. It's like comic book, you know, just yeah, like comic book glory. But it's it's so good. Um, and so is the movie. But I'm 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 curious to see what they do, how they interpret it. You know, with that older Batman. Yeah. It, if if the if the episode gets a lot of buzz, would you at least watch like the episode just to see what it was? Titans. Yeah, well, the one where they, I mean, he's going to, I believe at one point, I believe they're going to kill him in this season. So will you at least watch that episode? I don't know. Maybe. I maybe. Mean, so, I mean, the best thing I, I, I've enjoyed the most is that Doom Patrol. That's like, crazy. What, yeah. That's nuts. That is absolutely. I think that crazy. is, I think that is highly underrated. I mean, that was this. I bought, uh, I bought the first volume. I got it for Christmas and I have to read the first volume. I've never read it, but the show has got me into I want to see what it is. And. Morrison usually confuses the hell out of me. I liked the Doom Patrol from back in the day. Um, yeah. You know, they were like the the original X-Men, you know? Um, mm-hmm. and, and you like Metal Men too, right? I like Metal Men, yes. I'd love to see a Metal Man movie. Did you read the recent series? I haven't, but I, re- I as a kid, I read that. There's, there's mm-hmm. some things. That, a lot of the things I read as a kid comes from Brave and the Bold because Batman was in it, you know? back in the day is that how you kind of got introduced to the whole universe like it'd be batman co-starring like flash and i, don't know, I, I read and stuff like i that. read um superman from as a kid mm-hmm. too and i did have like some early early 70s uh justice league stuff and and but you never got into like green lantern or nothing like that um not not as, no not really. I, no. I mean, no, I've got Green Lantern comics. I would buy here and there. I would buy, you, buy you know, cool cover. I'd, yeah, Green Lantern yeah. or Aquaman or Wonder Woman. I mean, Flash, I get, you throw that Flash, in. Flash, I got some Flash. But you go through my stuff, it's like mostly Batman, and then there's a lot of Superman, too. I, they were my two, you know, I loved Batman, now, now, period. You keep you keep them in long boxes? I have them in. Um, most of them are bagged, yeah. They're boxes stacked, and then they're in totes. But so you don't have comic book boxes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got those. Yeah, the okay. p- cardboard. Yeah, boxes. Long, yeah, the long, yeah. long comic book box. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, I got. I I'm dying to see what you got because you're you know you got you got you buying that stuff off the rack, whereas yeah. I'm paying you know early thirty bucks. Yeah. Early seventies through the seventies. You're buying those Neil Adams, Denny O'Neill books off the rack. That's, uh, I was. It's like 25 cents. For me, that's like I'm getting in a time machine, picking those up for 25 cents. Have you <laughs> seen the, yeah, but back, going back, that's how I knew Metal Man. It was like from Brave and the Bold, Metal Man and Dead Man, another one I found. Oh, I love Batman. Dead Man. I, I, that's like a Metal Man movie I'd love to see. I'd love to see um, uh, a Dead Man my thing, my pitch would be you for can Dead make Man. a Dead Man movie not connected to the DC universe at all. You I know? would do it. I would do it on like H, make it make it an HBO Max prestige series and do it like a dark version of um, Quantum Leap. You want know Quantum the show Quantum Leap? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do it similar to that. You know, you know he would he was jumping in the people's body, and that's what Dead Man. You know, he yeah. did Boston Brand, and then he would and had possessed someone's. Oh, I'd love to see a dead man. I'd Spectre. That's another, you know, I'm all about, 
I hope they go through and make that Justice League Dark stuff on HBO Max too. Because you, you like Swamp Thing. I like Swamp Thing. Yeah. I lo- that show was underrated. That show was great. I reviewed it for I, the website. Yes, it was great. yes, she did, and that's why I watched it. And then um, Doom Patrol. I mean, Doom Patrol is crazy nuts and doing good stuff before there were the the the, the Marvel stuff on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. You know, it's underrated. So it's it's a bummer what happened to Swamp Thing. It just is. Yeah, James Wan was behind that too. Like he was a big sure. part of it. I, I feel bad. I don't know. They just didn't get like some kind of like a tax break from. Uh, I think it was in Georgia. And, yeah. It's a bummer because like I really love. I, I was hoping it would get picked up by HBO Max, but just they're doing reruns on CW. It's so good though. It's yes, so good. it's good. My, my, a lot of the, <laughs> the comics went from when I was a kid. I mean, I read the hell out of them. So I mean, I wore wore mm-hmm. them out. Yeah, I drew in them when I was a kid. I like I'd go through and on Superman, I drew glasses on him to see if he look. I can make him look like Clark Kent and <laughs> you know write my name in them and. Did you read the Alan Moore Swamp thing? I have read some of it, but not. There's some great Batman stuff in there when Batman meets Swamp thing. When, uh, when. I forget what issue it is. By by the early 80s, I started kind of like not reading comics because Mm -hmm. I was too cool. You you, you didn't. mm -mm. It happens. You know? And uh, I didn't pick it back up till Batman 89 came out. So there was probably eight year, you know, from about the time I got in high school, junior high, high school, you know, and I was a football player. Mm-mm. Not reading Swamp comic books, brother. Yeah. So, uh, that's the one you need to get Swamp Thing 53. So there's, um, yeah, I'm just, now you got me reminiscing to how, how I like metamorpho. That's how I f- discovered metamorpho was bringing yeah. the bowl, you know? Uh, yeah. That's how I knew Green Arrow mostly was from Brave and the Bold. You know, teaming I up with Batman. I found out Green Arrow because he's in all the back issues to all my old Detective comics. Like I don't, mm-hmm. I don't buy those old, but he's he's the you know he's the backup story. Yeah. So that's how I kind of really kind of discovered Green Arrow. I was like, who is this guy? Have you ever seen? They don't make them anymore, but they did in the seventies when I was a kid. The big oversized comics, and they usually were. Sure. Yeah, they were usually reprints of, of older stuff, mm-hmm. but I've got a bunch of those Superman, Batman. I have um, Superman versus Muhammad Ali in Treasury. Okay. That's good. I remember that. Adams. I remember that. Yes, I do. I have to get it signed by Neil. He, he may ask you to take his coat. <laughs> I ever tell I you that story? Him. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. He's great. He's like talking to you like your, hey. your uncle on a holiday. Yeah, you're a... Can you get my? You know where my coat is? Wait. No, sir. I don't know where the coat check is. I got that Two Face annual signed by him. Yeah. Well, I was cool. with Ryan. We got a yeah. Comic Con. He signed for free, or you got to pay for? Pay I got to pay him? for it, but I'll pay with him. You know, I got no problem paying him for it. What he charge for that? It's fifty bucks, but he he'll charge you what you know. It's fit for one or for like eight. Like he just okay. So you know, I, I you know. He didn't. He never got paid like these guys do. And then now he all he's got is his name. So it's not the worst thing in the world. What uh, any other old school comic book Batman questions you got for me? Not right this now. Morning? That, was good, that was a good rant. That yeah. Good. This is just you know opening up with Bill Ramey. I, rem- I the softer I, side of I, rem- I remember getting out of. I could leave school. I go to the convenience store across the street, and they'd had those racks of comics, man. And I'd go through them. And, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd look at a bunch of them and I'd buy me some. There were 25 cents and mm, that was that's, crazy. that's how that's I, crazy. yeah, that's how I, that and the Batman TV show with Adam West, that's, I became a Batman fan. Y'all grew up, you're, you're, Keaton. you're vintage, you're, you know, it's just Keaton for me living in a world where it, Batman and comic book movies were like are super freaking cool, you know, and everybody well, loves oh, it. Oh, hold on here, hold on here. Like, I'm not, I'm not part of like Generation 13 or anything, but like, you know, it took me, it took a while to get to this point. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, like, I remember, you know, it was we got it was it was Batman. Oh, geez, it was either Batman, Superman, and then at one point it was Blade. <laughs> that was all you had. You had Supergirl, right? Yeah, that movie was terrible. 
Oh, God. I saw that in the big screen. Christopher Reeves was supposed to be in there. He never made his appearance. Yeah. He knew it was going to be bad. Jimmy Olsen was in it, though. He was. Helen Slater. Yep. That I was... love the suit, though. The suit looked great. I did like Wonder Woman, Linda Carter TV show. That was one yeah, of the, you know, you it. weren't getting much of that comic book stuff. But also, like, TV. when I was growing up, that stuff wasn't on TV even in reruns like that. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ferrigno's Hulk. You know, Batman there was, oh, was I was a like Hulk. Batman. I was a Hulk. Huge Hulk fan. The Incredible Hulk on CBS. I watched oh, that on Netflix. I loved it. It's I was a huge fan of the short-lived Spider-Man 70s TV series that ran... It was kind of concurrent with the Incredible Hulk, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, did you ever, have you have you seen any of that? I've seen a few episodes. Yeah, I'd like to find it because you just didn't. I mean, we didn't. Ha we had that, and then you know, you didn't get um, any, what you didn't get another live action show until what '90s Flash, probably. And I mean, and then stuff and they did. Once, you know, the stuff they did come out with. Then you had Lois um, and Clark. Was 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 basically making fun of you know there were like. These the celebrity roast type shows. You remember those old celebrity roast Dean Martin and all that back in the day? They would do like they did a DC version of that with Adam West and Burt Ward were in it, and they had other and the costumes were were just ridiculous and and it was a goof, you know, a bit. Yeah, I mean that's all. That's all. You know, that's what you got. You know, like, oh it's just Shazam, sick the seventies. Oh, that's right. Saturday morning that, show. I think that Love was that. The, that was it. They're just traveling out of a Winnebago. <laughs> yes, with Mentor. So interesting. Billy Batson, and he had the he had the Captain Marvel Shazam logo right in the front of the Winnebago. Yeah, yeah. So Ranging stuff, and then you get you know, the Birds of Prey, and that was in the middle there. I'm getting on a tangent here, Pete. All right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna get on a tangent. Anyway, Batgirl's I, coming. I gotta make me a gumbo. Point. I'm making. I'm gonna make it. I'm making. I'm doing text me. I'm making some enchiladas tonight, my friend. I will not be on the grill. I am well. I'm grilling the meat. I'm grilling He's on turkey. I, I've already got that. I got chicken. I started marinating pew, pew. last night. I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke that, and then I'm gonna slice it up, tear it up, use it for the enchiladas. So, you cooked yeah. anything up lately? That's uh, been I made some Thai chili chicken the other day. Okay. Marinating some Thai chili sauce and uh, it's kind of it. Some burgers, dogs, random just grill activities. Sent you that uh, that Schinerbach marinade. I gotta get. Recipe. I gotta get. I gotta get on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. How's the weather? <laughs> Feels, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot and humid around here. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Plug. Plug. Okay. You can follow me on social media. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Zach Snyder's favorite Vero at Pete Illustrated. Follow podcast number one, Straight Outta Gotham, at straight underscore O underscore G. I co-host that with the pride of Long Island, the champion of Long Island, recently the oldest bat boy in the history of Fenway Park, Eric Holzman. Um, also follow podcast number two, Italians for Spidey, at, uh, on Twitter. Uh, that is the Italian uh, Spider-Man Podcast Coalition that I co-host with Sausage Meatball, Nico and his father, Nick Caruso. So that's a good time. Follow at Team Yellow Oval. Follow, who else do I got here? Uh, who else? Is that do I, do I have another one? I think that's it. And uh, follow, you know, check out my reviews on Detective Comics and stuff on Batman Film Proper. Check out my toy reviews. I have a new NECA toy review up. Yeah. For the 89 Batarang that's on Batman on Film YouTube. So I'm all over the internet. Uh, let's interact. The fantasy football, Batman on Film Fantasy Football League is kicking up. Which Here. league are you in? You're, there's like three of them now. There's two. There's oh. the main league uh -huh. with all the boys uh, in it and a few others. Okay. Yeah, that's the one you're in. Uh -huh. And then I had, I mean, there, I had so many people asking to get in. So I just, I started a second one Jeez. because the demand was high. I got people emailing me now. I, there could be three that want to get in it. So I'm like, that's cool. If I can get, you know, I get at least 10 of you. Yeah. I'll, I'll do a third one. If you want to participate with us, cool. You know, All right. I'm more than All happy. Right. All right. Me. Follow me on Twitter at Batman on Film. That's just my basically my personal Twitter, but mostly I talk about Batman stuff. And uh, just for news links from Batman on Film is at the Batman on Film. Uh, posting most stuff now on Instagram. Uh, there will be links to Batman on Film stories. That's just Instagram.com slash Batman on Film. Uh, all the shows, the ones Pete mentioned, this one, the Batman on Film podcast, all of them, uh, part of the Batman Podcast Network. You can find those shows at batmanpodcastnetwork.com and 
uh, on Twitter, you'll see a lot of stuff from that at Bat Pod Network. Shout out to Ryan Haas on that. If you like what we do here at Batman on Film, uh, Patreon, become a patron, patreon.com slash Batman on Film. And um, you can score some Batman on Film t shirts and other gear, stickers, whatnot. tpublic.com slash Batman on Film. So that's all I got. Anything else, Pete? I bought bought one of every t-shirt last night. Did you? All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'll be all be sporting those at the Batman on Film watch party, which is will be coming soon. So yep. you people, you people out there who plan to attend, probably start time and start time to making your travel plans here before long because the Batman is coming and we're going to have that party in Frisco, Texas. It's going to be fun. It's on the 5th of March, 2022. Texas gumbo and Dick shoes mashed potatoes. Like I am coming to eat. We'll see about that latter part, but yeah, we're going to have gumbo for sure. And Boudin and some other stuff too. I have some. And I want to watch like the, be- want- the, the highlight video of Tom Landry's career. All right. I got that. You want to, um, you, you want to, how about hog head cheese? You eat some hog head cheese? I uh, uh, head cheese? No, I will not eat head cheese. Hog no. head cheese. I'll have some. Is that I, head cheese? Is that different? Like, is hog head a brand? It's not a brand. It's head it's, cheese. In the gelatin, correct? Kind of. Yeah. Hell no. I I'm gonna. I just, got a story about head cheese. I'll tell you. Later. I'm gonna tell you it's something else, and then I mean, have you try. It looks try. like something else. Trust me. Yeah, All right. Oh, All right. You, pe- Texan. you people down in uh, in southern Louisiana, they know what I'm talking about here. Cracklins. Do you like cracklins? I can eat some crackling. Okay. All right. I get that with some crackling. Okay, I could spiral off in the food now. Ain't no head cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may take a slice just to investigate. There's no way I'm going to eat that shit. All right. I'm trying my best to get out of this tangent. All right, so for Pete, I'm Bill. Thanks for thanks for listening. I was going to say watching, but this is an audio-only version of this show. Did I tell you about the new Batman on film tagline? No, it's we, we changed it. It's no I'm, longer authoritative I'm, I'm, dependent I'm, of the original. Well, I'm gonna. It's that will always be as a classic. But I'm thinking opinionated, abrasive, no f's left to give. Oh, they're all gonna love that. <laughs> Everyone. T shirts coming soon on T Public. Let's be ready. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Batman on Film Social Hour, Jet's official BOF podcast and vlog. Follow Jet on Twitter at Batman on Film. For BOF news only on Twitter, follow at the Batman on Film. For Jet and everyone at BOF, I'm announcer Rachel. Authoritative, definitive, the original Batman on film.